We're going to show you here how to assemble the ultra speed. The bucket clearly has a stepped back to it and a pouring spout. Ensure it's mounted onto the trolley with the spout towards the splayed wheels. First you fit the colour clips which simply click off the top of the bucket, revealing the two locating lugs underneath. Then click them back into place. In this case we want to use the blue ones. Place the levered ringer on the back of the bucket, the non-spout side, taking care to position the handle to the front of the bucket. The levered ringer is simply hinged onto the back lip and then clicked into place. On the chassis base there are four locating lugs. Lift the bucket and place it firmly until it clicks into place on the chassis. Here you can see the handle is to the front and the ringer handle is to the back of the chassis. The mop handle is simple to assemble. Remove the clip and remove the screw collar. Put the screw collar onto the handle and slide it down. Put the mop frame onto the handle and align the hole in the frame with the hole in the handle. Once aligned, replace the clip and tighten the screw collar while holding the mop handle. Now fit the mop pad to the mop frame. This is done simply by sliding the mop pad fixation tags into the retainers on the mop frame. Slide down the fixation tags until completely located. Turn over the mop frame and repeat the process for the other side of the mop. Then select the appropriate colour coding and cut off the other tags. Here we've left the blue tag in place. Lower the mop frame and pad towards the floor and press down the handle until you hear the frame click closed. To rinse and wring the mop, break the frame using the foot pedal. You now need to adjust the telescopic handle to your height. Place the pad on the floor and unlock the handle by rotating it anti-clockwise. Standing upright, extend the handle to the height between your chin and nose. Lock the handle in place by rotating it in a clockwise direction. Select the relevant colour-coded clip for the cleaning area and click onto the handle. You can then clip the mop handle to the ultra speed. To use the ultra speed, ventilate the area and place your warning signs. Having filled the bucket with a maximum of 10 litres of warm water and chemical if required, immerse the mop pad into the solution. Remove the mop pad from the solution and enter it into the levered press, making sure you align the centre guide on the mop frame with the guide on the mop press. Push the mop frame downwards and press the lever to ring the mop pad. Release the lever and remove the mop frame from the press. Place the mop frame and pad on the floor and press down on the handle until you hear the mop frame close. Use in an area of 50 square metres, that's about 10 paces by 5 paces. Start to mop the floor, cleaning the edges first. Fill in using a systematic figure of eight pattern. When the pad is soiled, break the frame by pressing down with your foot on the dark blue button and lifting the handle upwards. Rinse the mop in the solution agitating slightly to remove loose dirt and debris. Ultra speed can also be used to clean stairs and skirting boards. Walls can also be cleaned using a figure of eight motion from top to bottom. After use, Agitate soiled mops in clean warm water and detergent. Put the mop pad and frame in a wringer, wring out excess solution, remove the mop pad from the frame and rinse the mop pad thoroughly under running water to remove trap dirt and particles. Wring out excess water and unfold to air dry but don't place mop pads on warm pipes to dry. Empty the bucket, clean the bucket and wringer and again leave to air dry. 